Hello, Thrush. How's everyone doing? Are you having a good time? Thank you. So let me start with a question. To be a perfect reader, how many times did you hide your true emotions, ignore your own happiness, prioritize everything except yourself? Really, how many times this month or last week or even today did you force yourself to smile in front of team members when you are really in pain? How many sleepless nights have you had? I'm certain most of you would say countless times. If you saw, this talk is for you. So let me introduce myself. My name is Genki Shiota. I am the co-founder and CEO of Akatsuki. Akatsuki provides a different kind of entertainment content, such as mobile games, outdoor entertainment, and visual content, and so on. Fortunately, we have been doing financially well in recent years. We achieved IPO, and our profit is about $100 million in this year. Some consider us a successful company, but that doesn't describe who we are. I want to move people, change their perspective on the world. I want to make the world a colorful and happy place. So that so does my company, Akatsuki. This is our vision. This is who we are. Vision is extremely important for companies, for leaders. This is what inspires, encourages, drives your team forward. Without it, leaders cannot inspire other people. Other people cannot sympathize with the leaders. Obviously, vision is important. But let me ask you a question. Do you truly believe in your vision? Does your work really make you feel happy? We work hard and strive for success. Through this process, we sometimes lose touch with the love, the emotion, the happiness that lie deep inside of us. When we finally grasp the material success, we realize it was not what we wanted. We realize that success is not equal to happiness. I think every leader working hard to achieve happiness, but in reality, there are some traps along this journey. Traps lies within us. That's why they are so difficult to face. So I used to get stuck in these traps. So I want to talk about my experiences and share my essential advice for readers. There are three traps. The first trap, the first trap is that when leaders think too much, we feel too little. Being an entrepreneur is tough. We face challenges, make tough decisions every day. Even our good days, we feel pressure because we already know those good days may suddenly end. When this happens, we start to close our heart to protect ourselves. This causes us to start thinking with our brain instead of our hearts. Especially in the beginning stage of entrepreneur, a new company, an initiative, leaders must do a lot of things by themselves. When I started my company, 
I had to do everything by myself. I developed games. All 20 members reported me directly. I answered customer call. I even checked. I even checked the receipt to manage my members' expenses. I was under the pressure from the threat of bankruptcy if I made one single mistake. I was pushed into a corner. I worked just to survive. I talked about only numbers. I was so frustrated about everything, about my work, about my team members, even about myself. But one day, one of my members told me, hey, Genki, I had a really big fight with my wife last night. But I still feel happy when I come into work. This is a small thing for him. But his word made me realize that our employee found the happiness at work. And this was something I had totally forgotten. I could not hold back my tears. He brought me back in touch with my true emotions. That was a magical moment. It's very easy to forget what we truly want when we are working hard every day under extreme pressure. So readers, take a deep breath. Take a five minutes, just five minutes. Ask yourself, what do I want? Why did I start this? Understanding our inner emotion reminds us why we do, why we do what we do in the first place. This is the first trap. The second trap, the second trap is trying to, trying, trying to live up to other people's expectations. And this happens when we try too hard to do what others want from us. <coughs> so even, so the more we succeed, the more our organization grow, our responsibilities and our expectation from our stakeholders grows too. The pressure gets intense. You have to make returns on the investment. You want your team members respect you, right? This corners us into becoming a perfect leader in the eyes of others. But did we start all this to meet other people's expectation? When we focus on other people's expectation, we we stop loving what we do. As a result, we can't do a great job because our energy is drained. After our IPO, I swore to myself and to my investors that we are going to manage our company in the direction that held true to our long-term vision. However, looking back, I realized I was trying to meet the other people's expectation. I had fallen into another trap. During management meetings, I spent a lot of time to talk about the stock, stock values and financial target. But a discussion with my partner, Koda, helped me realize have me realize that our meetings are too focused on the short term. And I thought something was wrong. These short term, tar these short -term targets decrease our opportunity to talk about how we would become a great company.
in the long term. So my team and I decided to take a time to do what we thought, what we should be doing, following our vision. Now, I honestly believe that this is the best approach for our real stakeholder in the long term as well. So, leaders, don't try to be a someone else. Always live true to yourself to achieve what is truly important to you. This is the second trap. The third trap, the third trap is the fear of sharing our emotion with others. So when was the last time someone saw you cry? My guess is for most of you. And this probably hasn't happened recently, right? Leaders, leaders assume they can manage everything on their own. Leaders think, I'm a leader, so I must overcome any problem by myself. That's a leader job. That's a what a perfect leader does. That's a leader respect. But leaders are also human, right? We cannot manage everything alone. But we fear sharing our emotion and our weakness to my members. That makes us feel isolated. Truly strong people are not afraid to share their weakness and their happiness. So during Akatsuki's third year, I faced a lot of hard things. I made mistakes a lot. I hired, I hired people who did not fit our culture. And I let I let my some founding members leave. I was in pain, but I couldn't show I was sacrificed and I was suffering. So I felt like I, I was sacrificed myself and I felt like I became a living ghost. But one day, my mentor and external board member Katsuya-san gave me some advice. He said, Genki, if you want to create a great company that you wanted, don't you have to build a strong connection with your members? You must share your true emotion with your members. At that point, I felt I had nothing to lose. So I followed Katsuya-san's advice. I started to hold one-on-ones where I started to open up to my members. They listened, and I listened. We were able to build a connection in deeper level. As a result, they, they wanted to support me even more. And I was able to share my difficulties to achieve our vision. So, leaders, don't hesitate to share your deepest emotion. Open up and let people support you. So far, I have talked about three traps and how I overcame them. I took time to reflect on my emotions. I started living by my own expectations. And I share my true emotion with my members. As a result, I became happy. So readers, determine that you are going to be happy Open your heart to yourself, to your members. 
if you can change from a perfect leader to a happy leader, approach the project and on, on challenges on this way, you will have the great power to positive influence others, to realize their own happiness, take on new challenges, pursue their own passions. So let's create a world filled with positive energy and happy together. Don't be a perfect leader. Be a happy leader. Thank you. Thank you, all of us. Have a good night.